Hello! Hi everyone! I'm Shauna Yao, CEO and your marketing mastermind at TotalGenius.net. And I'm here every day, sometime between 5 to 6 p.m. PST. And we're going to cover business tips and mindset. So if you would just share this with someone that you love, because today we're talking about a really good subject. Today we're going to talk about the two things that I swear every single entrepreneur that I've ever talked to is struggling with either one or both of these things. And those things are money and time. And so today we're going to kind of become a, a little magical and we're going to talk about how you can make time and make money. And uh, quite funny, funnily enough, uh, is that a word? I don't know. Quite funny enough, uh, those things are related. And we're going to talk about value, values, and actual tactical things that you need to do or that you should consider doing. So I don't know what type of business you have, but uh, you, can, you can use these methods for any business. And I'm talking online or uh, a brick and mortar store, anything like that. All these tips apply. In fact, the time management ones, if you transition it to your personal life, you can use these for your personal life as well. So, first of all, we're going to talk about business. And we're going to talk about uh, the time and money factor. So, I don't know if you've ever heard of this law. It's called the Pareto's Principle. And the Pareto's principle is the 80-20 rule. In fact, I'm sure you've heard it. If you've been in business at all, you've heard it. It's the 80-20 rule. And I'm going to give a little twist on this at the end. But the 80-20 rule states that 80% of your results, 80% come from 20% of your activities. So the things that you are doing, the things that we all do every single day, only 20% approximately of those things actually are producing results. And again, this applies to your business and your life. So what you are doing every day, you need to understand which things are actually producing results. Because this 80-20 rule applies to everything. 80% of your results come from 20% of your activities. 80% of your clients uh, come from, or I'm sorry, yeah, 80% of your clients come from 20% of your activities. And so what we need to understand is what is that 20%? What is that 80%? And what is the whole thing? Like what does the whole picture look like within you're already busy life. So what ends up happening is that when you understand this, you then become laser focused. You've heard that term laser focused. Right now, there's just so much distraction going on. You have a Facebook feed going off. Dings, notifications, even if you turned your notifications off. There is that constant pull back to the habit forming product of Facebook. Instagram, all those things. And, you know, sadly enough, business many times is, is run off of that. But how people are teaching it and how you need to do it in order to make time are two sometimes very different things. But when you know the things to focus on, that means you're focused on the best the best. So you've heard that book, Good to Great. When you focus on the best, you not only go from good to great, we as humans evolve and we improve. And when we know what to focus on, sure, we may have our dips, but when you focus on the best on a consistent, and I mean daily, basis, you just get better and you get better. So you go from good to great, great to better, better to best, and best to exceptional. 
It is so important that you understand this rule and you understand that there are no rules in business aside from the fact that you need to have a, a real business that helps people and you need to be an honest person. But aside from that, everything that everyone's teaching you, it's up for grabs. So we're going to get clear on what you actually need to focus on. So in order to make time and money, you need to understand business. And there are several areas that you need to focus on in order to have a successful business. Number one is money-making activities. You don't make money unless you know what money-making activities are. And so I know, and you know, I've not taken another business program. I, I don't know what courses teach, but it appears to me that people are saying that doing your social media, you know, automating, having this automated system is a money-making activity. That actually may be a money-making activity, but if you don't have a solid foundation, if you're not selling something people want, if you don't even know why people buy, then you're never going to be able to make money <laughs> and you're not actually focusing on money generating activities, which is a problem. The second essential of business is marketing. So marketing involves a push-pull formula, which I'm going to go into in a second. Right now I'm just giving you the essentials about business. Marketing is very different than selling. So I often hear people say, you know, I have trouble with selling, but they're not even getting to the selling conversation. What you really have a problem with is understanding what marketing is. The third thing is, third business essential, is your mind. So I kind of hate the word mindset, but I'm just going to use that term. Because Personally, I don't believe you set your mind and it becomes something. You have to understand your mind and then we're going to develop it over the next uh, 30 days or I guess by now it's 29. I may continue. Um, so I'm going to teach you some things for you to get your mind together every single day so that you can focus on these business essentials. And then the fourth business essential is deep work. You need to be doing deep work, whatever that deep work is for you, every single day. Deep work means that you're doing this activity, the one that makes you come alive. So if you're an artist, you're creating art. If you are a writer, you're writing. If you are a, a world-class skier, you're skiing. Deep work is so important to understanding, number one, oh, I'm sorry, first of all, deep work is important to creating value. You can't create your highest value for the people that you serve unless you're doing deep work. Because just hanging out on social media and doing your social media is not value that people pay for. It may be things that they like, and you may have a lot of friends, but that's not creating value. So you need to, to have time every day where you're doing deep work, your deep work. And you need to understand what your deep work is and you actually need to schedule that deep work in. So what I'm really talking about, these essentials of business, means that you need to have the habit of success. I'm sure you've heard the habit of success. But what it really involves are creating habits of success <laughs> like things that you do every single day that are habits the essentials of business they actually need to be trained habits not I'm gonna automate this and you know it's gonna just run like that because that's not how it works and if you're not making money or you're not making the amount that you want it's not about automating more it's about your personal habits. If you are stressed about time and you are not, uh, you, you, don't, you feel like you don't have time by the end of the day. I mean, there's always going to be work. I, I feel like there's a lot of work every single day. 
But at the end of the day, I know that I've done what I came, what I woke up during the day to do. And I know that there's always going to be work tomorrow. The habit of success says that you get up every day with a purpose and you know that purpose, but that purpose is actually the higher thing that you're working on. The habit of success means that you have scheduled your tedious tasks into daily habits. I call it incremental laundry. So I'm just going to tell you, I mean, I, if you've been following me for a while, you know what incremental laundry is. But uh, I used to have this cat, and every day it would throw up on my duvet, you know, a duvet, heavy bedspread thing. And I would come home from a long day of work. This is when I had a corporate job. And every day my cat would have thrown up on my duvet. So I actually had to do my laundry, which is a pain in the ass because I don't have a, a washer dryer in my apartment. I had to go down two flights of stairs, run around the building, go down two flights of stairs. Anyway, long story short, every this happened for a while. And after two weeks, so I had to do my laundry every day. And after two weeks... One day I woke up and I was like, did I do my laundry? And this is when I discovered the habit of success, is that I actually trained this tedious task to become a daily habit. I wasn't even thinking about it, and woo, my laundry got done. That's kind of a similar thing to what you need to do with your tedious tasks in your business, or rather, the essentials that you need to do every single day. And those four things that I spoke about, the money generating, the marketing, push-pull strategies, your mindset, and your, um, and, your, and your deep work. Those things need to be scheduled in because those are essentials. So how I would recommend you start your day is with something I call active focus meditation. Because you need a to-do list and you need all of that. But first, you need to get your mind together, focused on you. Before you turn on your phone, before you log into social media, before you get on Facebook, please, and before you check your email. Even if you have kids, you need to get up earlier. You need to go outside and for at least 10 to 20 minutes, Walk or run quickly, focused on your own success, not your to-do list, but what you actually want to become, achieve, your highest purpose. I want you to put on your favorite theme song, the one that makes you feel like, I'm going to rule the world. And I want you just to focus on you and what you, where you're going in your life. Because what ends up happening is when you do that, your endorphins kick off, number one. Number two, you're focused around your confidence and your success and what makes you come alive. Number three, the audio actually seeds in these new neural pathways in your brain around your success goals. That's called active focus meditation. And it's different than regular meditation because when you're moving and you have your endorphins going, you feel like you can rule the world. You're not just trying to power your brain. What ends up happening is that you shut down what I call your stupid thinking brain, the one that says you're not good enough on bad days. You shut it down and your genius emotional brain, the one that has no voice, but where your heartfelt gut reactions are, oh, I just realized I didn't hit my mic. Where your heartfelt gut reactions are, that one takes over. And that's what it should be. That's, that's then how you drive your day. Then you can get on Facebook and you can do your social media. But Habit of Success says you get on it, you do the thing you need to do, and then you get off of it. You log off so that you can focus on your money generating activities and your marketing push pull strategy and stay in the mind that we created in the very beginning. So money generating activities. This is <laughs> so this is, you know, according to whatever business you have, you can apply this to your business. 
But money generating activities, and you don't need to do all of these, you need to know what your 80-20 is. But money generating activities include networking, and I'm not talking hanging out in a Facebook group, I'm talking like you are meeting people every day, I recommend three to five people where you're having a personal conversation with and you are telling them about what you do. Networking. Making offers. You need to be making offers every single day. Not when you have something new to share. Not when you feel like it. And not when maybe you think that there's a buyer. You have a business. Social media for business people is for building awareness about what it is that you have to offer. No, you should not be an infomercial. No, you should not be promoting your stuff everywhere just for the hell of it. But you need a strategy where you are what I call ABIing every single day. ABIing is always be inviting. You are inviting people to watch this webinar, which at the end, you invite them to come schedule a consultation with you. You are inviting them to download your free worksheet and at the end, now you have a list and now you can push your marketing message to them, invite them to a consultation. You can follow up with them uh, by, by following up with them. Literally, that's what Facebook is, is uh, used for, for business. You can message people who you've gotten to know, who've given you permission to be their friend. Build relationships, like real ones, not hanging out in a Facebook group. Have goals. No, not like I want to make a million dollars. You need to have solid goals. Like how much do you need to make every month? What do you need to sell in order to make that amount? How many do you need to sell? And if you need to sell that many, how many people are you meeting and how many people are you inviting to a consultation so that you can sell those things? Every single day, every single week, every single month. Because when you have a, like a physical business, you don't just hang out on Facebook and wait to see how much money you are going to make. My neighbor, she cuts hair. She has, uh, her salon is in her apartment. But it's a very high-end salon, so, so people pay her a lot of money. She ABIs every day. She's not on Facebook, but she ABIs by calling up old clients, by telling people at the car wash, you know, oh, you know, by the way, I cut hair. That's, that's called having a business and taking responsibility for your own out, outcome. So that, those are money generating activities that you need to understand what your 80-20 is and then schedule those in every single day and I recommend you be ABIing every day that should be intermixed in like your Instagrams uh, in what you do on Facebook in what you do when you talk to people marketing marketing is very in-depth I cannot cover it in this video but there are two sides of marketing there's a push strategy and a pull strategy so a push strategy is where you are, you are building awareness, you are um, advertising, you are posting on social media, you have SEO, search engine, engine optimization, you are pulling people in by building awareness. You're br building awareness that you have a business and you have products. Pushing is actually like direct selling. Uh, your email list, you know, you're pushing your message out. You need both. You need both a push and pull strategy. So in both of these things that I'm talking about, the money generating and the push pull, you don't need the B school business model and be doing everything to be making the amount of money you need. Because Making money and making time. So money is everywhere. I know if you're not making it, it may not seem like that, but money is everywhere. It's, it's available to you. Time is limited. 
and it's not just the hours in the day. I'm sorry, I'm just going to say something that's going to sound negative, but it, but it's, it's actually just the truth is that we're all dying. <laughs> you don't realize it. My mom died suddenly of the flu 11 years ago. She was ripped from my life. <laughs> and I just talked to her the day before. We have a limited time and every day and every minute in, in your business and in your life is precious. And at the end of every day, you should say, I did good. Like, I'm so glad I lived today because if I died tomorrow, I'm just so proud of myself and I told the people I love that I love them. You know, Time is limited, so what you choose to work on, you need to know what that 20% is. And as far as business goes, you need to know what that 20% is. When you know that 20% and you do it on a consistent basis, you can make money. Making time means eliminating. Making money means bringing it in. That's called an abundant mindset. I'm abundant in myself, so I value my time. And I, I may have to do things that are more difficult for me, disciplining myself, um, uh, holding myself accountable, spending money investing in the right answers so you can get your results. Your success is up to you. And and your life is up to you. And I know, at the end of my life, I don't want to say I spent all day on Facebook trying to make money and not feeling good enough about myself. So, I've given you a lot in this video. I would appreciate if you got anything out of this to please share this with your best business friends. Because I really want to empower people. The people who actually get something out of what I say for you to become successful so that you can empower other people. You are meant for something. You're meant for something great. And now it's your job to figure out what that is. Because you have a business, but your real job in life is to become the person you are meant to be. And having a, a business is the best way to do so. Because you get paid for being who you are. So that's it. That's your uh, Genius Live for today. Please share this. Please leave comments. I'll answer questions later uh, if you put them in the feed. And uh, I'll be here tomorrow. Bye, everyone.